Hey everybody, and here we are for a new WWE figure vlog. Wasn't sure if I wanted to do this today, but I, I thought like how we're we going to do this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bunch of stuff as always on the WWE figure vlogs. First off, I want to give props to my new lamp. I know I posted about it on Instagram a lot, but this thing is really helpful. I usually just had like these, how do you call them? Desk lamps, but this one is really cool. Um, makes like my whole setup way more professional and it's like a lot easier to film stuff. So shout out to this lamp, it's awesome. And <laughs> we, let's just get into um, what we're going to do today on the WWE figure vlog. But before we do that, I really want to thank you all again for the support on yesterday's uh, custom badge. We sold out again within like, I would say like 30 minutes, everything was gone. Maybe a bit longer, but 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 not sure. Like the Rollins stayed a bit longer, but otherwise, like stuff went really damn fast. So thank you guys for that. Everything is shipped out already. Um, got that taken care of first thing in the morning. So uh, you already all have tracking numbers by now. And yeah, let's get into the uh, figures here that I wanted to talk about. I actually wanted to do a review on Basic uh, Seventy Seven that I got from Walkalware. Got them the, the earliest, so a walk away. I had them first, which was crazy. And obviously, uh, they made sure that I get them as soon as possible. Really fast international shipping from walk out wear. Uh, really the fastest and cheap and cheapest as well. So that is so cool. And uh, we got this Roman. And first off, before we t talk about what we're going to do with these figures, I wanted to show you guys the articulation a bit. I know there are reviews out there. This is why I really don't want to do another review. I don't know if people like enjoy to watch like five different reviews of figures. I don't know. Me personally, I kind of watch one review and then like I'm kind of okay. Now I've seen the figure. I don't really care to see too many more reviews. But uh, yeah, we have this Roman and the articulation really isn't all that bad. It is worse than it was before. It's like not an improvement, but it is a lot better than what we all expected, I think. It's really not all that bad. Like you guys can see, you can pretty much do every pose you want still. Um, obviously, it lost articulation here in the boots, but it's not such a big deal to me. I mean, in, in a pick fat stop motion, whatever you're doing, you don't really use basics too much anyways. Uh, basics are kind of used to get like head scans or if you have like a collection set up They look pretty neat on display too. So obviously you can't do uh, arm swaps anymore, which is kind of unfortunate I think but it's not the biggest deal But you can still do a head swaps and this is what we're going to do with Roman because this head skin is Incredible man. I really love it. I didn't get elite 51 Roman So first time for me to get that head scan we're going to put that on one of my uh, Romans here. No, these are not all of my Romans. Like there are like a bunch more there behind the set. But um, yeah, we're going to do a head swap onto one of, I, I don't know if I want to put it on the gold Roman or the silver one, or this is the orange one. I think I'm going to put it on the orange one and also swap the vests because uh, this vest right here is like it's a little bit screwed up down there. Are they are they the same vests? Let's check that. They are not. I think this is like could be like the one from the battle pack with AJ, not quite sure. But this one is actually more colorful, it looks better in comparison. So I'm not really sure. I'm just like kinda upset that this is like looking the way it is. This one looks better, but I like the orange more, so I don't really know what we're going to do yet. So we have Balor, which is a figure I'm not going to do anything with. I think there's like nothing I can do with it. Uh, obviously, I'm just going to keep it in my collection. Pretty much the only new thing about it is that it got like this new Balor armband. I think it says Balor Club or Balor Club Worldwide or something. But I'm not sure they didn't include that here. Maybe I'm wrong also. So yeah, you can kind of see like the arms can look a bit weird at times. But you know, if you post them right, they're still looking all right-ish. So yeah, Balor. And the Sathir, I think is a good looking display piece. 
I wouldn't really use it in, in my pick that or whatever. But for a display Seth, it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, it is like a promo Seth Rollins, but it doesn't really have an open hand, which is quite weird. I think all the other Seth we got so far had open hands, but and this one doesn't. We have Dean, who's also like, I like the, the look of the figure overall. The gray is something different here, so that is pretty cool. But uh, first time for me also to get this head scan because I don't have the battle pack with Shane that I still have to get pretty badly. But yeah, I kind of got lazy and never bought it. So yeah, I'm going to put this head scan onto a uh, Dean Ambrose Elite. Probably going with Elite 48 right there. So we're going to do that. Here we have uh, my uh, Bray Wyatt Luke Harper battle pack that I recently got from Taobao. We're going to swap the Wyatt hat onto one of my customs. I think we're going to put it on the red one. And we're going to put a Harper hat scan onto an Elite Harper because I really wanted to have this Harper on an Elite, put the vest on it as well. Will look pretty cool. Alexa's just chilling around here. I didn't, I have like this Divas women bin and I still didn't put her in it because I think the figure just looks so cool. Um, this is like really a must buy. Like if you've seen it in pictures, it looks like really good already, but in person, this Alexa Bliss is just incredible. So I would really recommend getting that. And walk aware, probably still has it in stock. You, uh, just check them out. And like you guys know, you will save 22% with my code. If you're wondering where Corey Graves is, he's already sitting at the GCW announcers table. I posted about it on my Instagram and Corey Graves even liked it. I kind of put like a caption, Corey Graves took another gig and joined the GCW announce team. He liked it, so yeah, Corey is now part of the GCW announce team, which is pretty cool. I would say we get right into the fix-ups next. Going, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys me heating up the parts again because that's kind of boring. So before I heat up the hat skins, I'm just going to grab some food because after 10 p.m. the bakery here has 50% off. So count me in. So I guess it's a vlog. So I'm just going to take you guys with me anyway. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back. It's actually the next day because I totally forgot that I had the um, Conor McGregor video to upload for yesterday. I recorded that a couple of weeks ago, so I totally forgot I still had that. So I uploaded that and today we're going to continue with the WWE figure vlog. I already prepared everything what I want to do fix up wise. I've got all the head scans and everything. So I would say we get right uh, into it and first thing I want to do like I told you guys is the uh, Dean Ambrose a uh, head swap So I want this a uh, new basic head scan on the elite Because I don't have an elite with that head scan and I think it's very very good So here we go a head scan is on the elite Ambrose and I think it looks awesome Pretty much perfect just like I wanted it now we can put the other head scan onto the um, basic. I hope that will look all right too. And here we got the basic with the um, Elite 48 head scan. Doesn't look too bad either in my opinion, but I'm pretty glad that I now have an Elite Ambrose with that head scan, so really cool. Uh, let's move on to a fix up that I've been really excited about to make. I've been wanting to make this for so long. Luke Harper, going to put the new head scan onto it. Um, maybe let's put on the vest first because we're going to use the vest also here. This new uh, Wyatt family uh, vest, which is pretty cool that they 
included that in the battle pack. So let's put that on Harper here really quick. There we go. Here we have the Harper with vest and now we're going to put this head skin onto it as well. Go so here we have this badass looking Luke Harper Elite. This is so cool. Definitely going to be using this for a GCW SummerSlam. Wanted a figure like that for so long. It's a shame that they don't use Harper on television because he's like one of the best in-ring talents that WWE has to offer. But yeah, definitely using that for GCW. Really sick Harper. I think I, I will just put these in my fodder box because actually that Harper head skin wasn't too bad but I just don't like it anymore so I don't know. Let's move on to Roman and for Roman I actually decided to use my other Roman because I still had a Roman uh, with this vest right here and I decided to uh, swap the vest from the new basic onto the elite as well so now i have like two different orange romans as elites if you guys have seen earlier the other one it's a little bit of a different orange shade that they used on that so now i'm going to be having two romans in the orange which is pretty cool and yeah this vest like i said is better than the other one because the other one was a little bit damaged but here we have roman and also of course we're going to use this new head skin on it and uh, here we go here we have the roman reigns elite just like i wanted probably be using this for gcw SummerSlam as well love this new head skin and now uh, having an elite pretty awesome now another one that i'm really excited about is my custom elite bray wyatt which is kind of still a current attire he still wears that the first time was Wrestlemania in the great match with Randy Orton and yeah I'm just really excited to see how this looks with this head scan on it and yeah this is pretty incredible to me love it Bray Wyatt in the red attire with the new battle pack head scan I can't wait for elite for the next elite Bray Wyatt to come out so and then we already have seen that at Comic-Con and we talked about it on the channel. But yeah, this is so cool. Definitely be using this for a SummerSlam as well. Red attire, Bray Wyatt, new battle pack head skin. Pretty awesome. And yeah, I still have these two here, but I'm going to do these off camera because they are just the basics. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Got a lot of new fix-ups. We will take a final look at them in a bit. But before we do that, I just figured out that I still have, probably should have, a Dean Ambrose hoodie in here that I really would love to put on my fix up. This is just like a bunch of different accessories here as you guys can see, like custom shirts and Mattel shirts and all that kind of stuff. I really thought I had a Dean Ambrose hoodie as well still with this uh, same logo as the shirt that you guys just saw. But... I'm not quite sure yet. This is the, the shirt, the Dean Unstable Ambrose. It's it's not up to date anymore, but it would be pretty cool to put the hoodie on the figure with the new head skin and everything, I thought, but I don't really know. Did I? But yeah, here you guys can have like a quick look at what is going on in one of my uh, accessory bins. But I think the Ambrose thing is not in here. I don't know. This is the Ambrose shirt from 48. Yeah, I think it's not in here. Well, I don't know where that hoodie went, but it must be somewhere. So guys, I really can't find the hoodie, which is quite weird. I don't know where it is, but if I find it, I will definitely post about it on my Instagram. But I thought it would have looked really cool to add the hoodie to the Ambrose, but whatever. If I find it, like I said, it will be on my Instagram. Here are all the fix-ups again from this video. Luke Harper, awesome. Really glad to finally have 
and Harper fixed up like that. I know a lot of people already have it, but I really wanted it for a while. Bray, I think it's incredible with the new head skin, this custom elite. Man, this is so cool. Can't wait to use this in GCW. And then we have Dean with the updated head skin, also pretty nice. And another Roman in orange. Now we have two different elites in different shades of orange. So I guess that's pretty cool as well. Yeah guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the video here today. I hope you guys did enjoy this WWE figure vlog. This is always like the most requested video that I get. When is the next WWE figure vlog? I get that a lot. So I really hope you guys enjoy these. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And today it makes one week of consistent uploads too. So pretty proud about that. So yeah, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And like I said, I'll see you all in the next one.